Thanks. What's up everybody, Rob here. You are watching Man vs. Pim, and this week's project is the reason why the show was created in the first place. Obviously you've been telling me about it for years. I'm sorry I haven't gotten to it sooner, but today is the day. Glow in the dark shower curtain. Looks real cool. How does one achieve such a shower curtain, you may ask? Well, let's just find out. Take a clear shower curtain and splatter it with glow in the dark paint. That's it, that's all it takes. Panel meter, what do you- oh wait, never mind. He's still fired. I wonder what he's doing right now. You know what? I don't even need pinometer meter to tell me that this project is bullshit. Not IRL, as the kids would say. Just found out what that meant two weeks ago. You want to know what I think? I don't even think that there's a shower curtain there. There's no shadows, there's no ripples, there's no reflection. And these light points, what are these glowing? Like, trust me, glow-in-the-dark paint does not glow that much to where it is illuminating the paint so much that there is a reflection on the wall. Come on, now! Why would someone even create this post? Just to f with everybody? Nobody has even bothered to recreate this. But that is why we are here. But before we get started with the mayhem, I want to give a shout out to our new sponsor. I am super excited about these guys, Epidemic Sound. Uh, if you've been watching Threadbanger videos for a long time, you know that we have killer soundtracks behind all of our episodes. We don't use the YouTube library any longer. We use Epidemic Sound. These guys' service is specifically designed for YouTube creators like you. The Adpocalypse has been affecting everybody, uh, and so we are super thankful that these guys contacted us uh, and want to be a part of the show. We're going to be giving away a bunch of free subscriptions at the end of the episode, so be sure that you stick around for that. In the meantime, let's head outside and start painting some shower curtains. All right, first things first, I acquired a clear shower curtain, uh, and this uh, is about as clear as they come. Now, the first problem I see here are, are all these fold lines. How do I get these out? Do I iron it? Oh, I think so. It's all foldy. It looks like crap. I'm just gonna lay it down here in the grass, uh, throw some rocks on each of the corners so that way it doesn't blow away. Any minute now, there's gonna be a storm, with my luck. I got all the paints, the neons, the black light responsive, glow in the dark, this and that, all of them. And with a paintbrush, I'm just gonna go crazy over here. I'm just dipping and splattering, uh, flicking the brush around like an idiot, and just doing a number on this shower curtain. You know, I, I dug down into my deep emotional core, really tried channeling my inner Jackson Pop. Oh, wait, what the f happened? Where's my brush? Where'd the brush go? Hold on. All right, good thing I got another paintbrush here. I'm gonna finish this thing up with the last couple colors. In the beginning, I was pretty concise uh, about my splatters, uh, but towards the end here, I just, I'm, I don't give a shit because it doesn't matter. Just put it, put the paint anywhere you want it. No, oh, what the, come on now. Okay, well, I don't uh, have any more paintbrushes, so that's it. <laughs> We're done here, I guess. I used mostly all the paints anyway, so and I think this looks good enough. We just gotta let this dry for a bit. Uh, three, four, five, six hours, I don't know how long it was. All right, now once this whole contraption uh, was dry, I threw on some shower rings and put it up in my bathroom. Now obviously, right off the bat, you can tell that there is a shower curtain there. However, when I changed the light lighting just a little bit and dim things down, I was caught off guard because this thing actually looks pretty transparent. If you frame this shot correctly, it does not look like there is a, a shower curtain there at all. It was at this moment that I began to question the whole nature and fabric of the goddamn universe. Here's the big test. I've got to turn off all the lights. I have prepared black lights uh, throughout the bathroom. Your shirt looks so <laughs> Whoa! And then we're cutting off the main light in three, two, oh, holy sh! that looks cool. All right, this is obviously with like all the lights off and just the black light. That's cool. Karim uh, agrees. That is some trippy sh**. I dimmed the bathroom lights a bit, but that didn't do much. But looking back at this picture, I can't shake the feeling that these are Christmas lights, like strung up in the corners of the bathtub. I grabbed the set from all the Christmas bullshit in the basement and tried to replicate it by taking the Christmas lights around the shower. All right, here goes nothing. And that's actually a lot closer to what we're going for, am I right? What do we think? Huh, 
Give me a side by side here. Yeah, look at that. Now technically, I, I know I'll hear all about this in the comments. This isn't this isn't glow in the dark. I got it. Take a look at the 50 other glow in the dark projects that we've done on this channel, and you'll see that glow in the dark is a figment of your imagination that doesn't exist. Definitely not like this photo. Regardless, this is hands down the coolest shower that I've ever seen. Who wouldn't want to shower in this shower? I mean, there's a lot of electrical uh, hazards around, but it, it looks real cool. Looks like it's a like there's a rave going on in here. Oh, Dan, you gotta get down when this is the case. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Bring in the back of these sweet moves. A little figure eight action. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Do people even use glow sticks anymore? I don't even know. Boom, glow in the dark shower curtain. My work here is done. But before we go, I wanna give you some free shit. That's right. A bunch of you always ask where we get our music from and I will tell you that answer. It is epidemicsound.com. We've been using these guys for almost three years. Can't use that YouTube free library anymore. You know why? Because there are 50 million videos with this song in it. Oh God, so many people use this song. S stop, stop, please. Oh, we're giving away five one-year starter subscriptions for your YouTube channel. That's right, we are picking five creators out there just to give away free music to. We like giving back. We like giving back so much that if you use our link uh, and head on over there, you get 25% off for your first six months of service, which trust me, it is worth it. So you never have to hear this song ever again. Ugh, that, that is a lot better. If you're serious about stepping up your YouTube game, get good music. Head on over to Epidemic Sound Dot com and be sure to sign up with them to enter the contest. Support them uh, because they support us. And if you don't need a subscription, head on over to their YouTube channel because we put a playlist of some of our favorite tracks so you can just throw that on in the background, jam out. Subscribe if you know what's good for you. Like up this video if you haven't done that already. And I will see you around here next time.